Today I'm going to be reviewing this A76 high powered flashlight that I recently purchased online. So I'm going to open it up, show you exactly what you're going to get, and then I'm going to test out the brightness on it as well. Now this is going to be a rechargeable flashlight, so that's going to be a great option for you. It's not going to be like, you know, you have to constantly be replacing the batteries, that sort of deal. You can actually charge it using this USB-C. And that's actually going to be the charger is going to be right underneath there. So that's just going to click right on there. To turn it on, I'm just going to push that. And then you can adjust the brightness. You can do like a strobe, that sort of thing. I believe you can turn this. I'm not sure if that's going to adjust the, the light itself. So let's see. Yeah, so it is making it a little bit wider there on that when I'm going and pushing in on or turning the entire thing. Oops, sorry. It's actually going to be pushing in and out. So it, turn, it does turn. But if I push it all the way in, it's going to be round pull it all the way out, it's gonna be more of a narrow focus. So I'm going to a dark room here just to kind of show you how bright this light is. And then I'll also test it out at nighttime. So I'm here in an entirely like pitch black bedroom in uh, my house. You can see here, there's just a tiny bit of light coming through right there. Let me go ahead and turn this on and you can see exactly how bright this is. And that's obviously really, 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 really broad. If I go ahead and do like the narrow spotlight, you can see it's gonna work a long ways away. So that's gonna be super nice. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and now wait until it gets dark outside and then I'll show you how this is going to look on all of these different settings when using it outside. Now I live out in the country, so it's obviously really dark out here. So let me show you how what this flashlight is gonna look like at night. Look at how incredibly bright that is. Now this is on the widest setting here. So let me go ahead and narrow it. Look at that beam, how far up there it goes. I can see a long ways up the hill. Looking for eyeballs. There might even be some deer out here tonight. But you can see it's such a long ways. Now I'm gonna kind of shine it right down here over the hill a little bit. And you can see I've got a barn right out there that I'm easily shining on. Let me shine up some of these trees here so you can kind of see exactly how high up it goes. You can see the tops of these trees with this. This thing is absolutely spectacular in how bright this flashlight is. Now this is on its fine beam. Most of the time you're probably not gonna be doing that unless you're looking for a spotlight of some sort, but just look at how wide that pattern is. Let me kind of try and back up here and you can see how wide it is. I'm not zoomed in or out or anything. This is normal. Look at how far up it goes as well. So this flashlight is absolutely spectacular. Now, obviously I could push it to go to the other options if I, if I wanted to on here, but I just really like that one. So, you know, you can adjust the brightness, you can make it flash, or you can do that just by pushing it quick. So you can go to those other ones, but you can see here exactly how bright that is. If you don't need it to be quite as wide, you could kind of go in and that's going to be super, super bright, showing you a long, long ways away here up into these woods. So definitely an amazing flashlight. If you're trying to hike at night or something like that, yeah, this thing is way better than what you get with your phone or, or anything else, truthfully.